Hey everyone, it's Mark Galloway here. So today in this video, um, if you remember seeing on my LEGO Fan Power 6 channel, I did the taste test on the Pokemon Go Frappuccino, which was very good. But I also addressed that I was going to do a DIY, do-it-yourself, Unicorn Frappuccino. So, um, we have the ingredients here. We have, um, this is the Goya Mango. Now, in a way, it's uh, Goya Mango Nectar. In a way, this is a syrup of some sorts. Like, but there is some other people who might have used something different. That, that, like, not rather this. But, again, this is a DIY, which is also an attempt. So, it should be able to do the trick. We also have neon food coloring. We have um, sweet condensed milk. We also have um, evaporated milk. We have uh, color natural food coloring powders. We have two packets of strawberry and blue raspberry Kool Aids, and we have white chocolates. We also get, we also will need um, vanilla ice cream, ice, and we have the squeezer condiments. It's, um, uh, how do I say it? Uh, condiment squeeze bottles. So um, what we're gonna do first is that we're gonna get started on the syrup. Oh, and also sugar is needed. So what we're gonna do first is the sugar, and then after it's all done, it's gonna be in the bottle, and then after that's all done, we'll get right to the frappuccino. So here we go, let's get to our frappuccino. Start it. All right, so let's get started. So we have about um, three fourth cups of chocolate. All right, so some of the credit is gonna go to Emmy Made in Japan. All right, so we're just gonna add in the chocolate. I think that's a little too much. We're, we'll take some out. So uh, now we add in the, this. I think this is the condensed milk. Evaporated. Oh, I'm making a little bit of a mess. All right, and uh, we're gonna add in sugar. We'll mix that around. I don't know if I added in enough. Alright, I'll add in a little bit more of this. And a little bit more of that. And just a drop. Okay, should be enough. And I think I definitely did add a little bit. Uh, I think I did add a, just about enough of the chocolate. Alright, so what we're going to do now is that we're going to put this on a stove and let this all... Blending together, maybe I'll add just a couple more of these. So we're gonna let this uh, all dissolve on the stove, and then we're gonna turn it uh, blue, and then hopefully it should come out just fine. But again, this is an attempt. So um, if if it does taste bad, then then I tried like I'm so, like I don't. It just the cups just tell me like about. I'm only just clear about what the cups are. It doesn't tell me like any ounces or anything. But anyways, let's put this on the stove. All right, so I just got it off the stove. All right, so I might have had a, I might have a big feeling. I might have either added too much of either of the milks or something, but I had to make it look as a little bit as thick as possible. So anyways, we're gonna pour a little bit into this bowl. Hold on, let me stir it just a little bit. Okay, and now we just pour it in here. Yeah, I'm, I don't know if it looks liquidy enough. All right. Now we're gonna pour, we have two packets of the blue raspberry lemonade of the Kool-Aid. So, yeah, I might have a feeling it's not really thick enough either. I might have screwed up on it. So, but anyways, uh, we're gonna add the blue Kool-Aid and don't worry, I have two packets. So if I run out during this process, I'll have a little bit more. I'll have more to add on a little bit afterwards. All right, so we now, so this is a sour, so this is some sour stuff. Okay, so when we stir it, it's gonna start to turn blue. And then after it turns blue, it's we're gonna have to darken it a little bit as possible. So we will have to add in at least two drops of the, Neon food coloring. All right, it's not really turning blue. Okay, it's starting to blue, turn blue a little bit. All right, so neon food coloring, color blue. It's two drops. Stir that up. Oh, 
Oh yes, very light blue. I still have a feeling it's not really that thick enough. Oh, it's a little bit dark. I'm pouring just a little tiny bit more. All right, I definitely smell that Kool-Aid, so like it's gonna make it very sour. So that's what I am reassuring for myself. Okay, my hands in the way. From from what from my point of view, though, it was turning exactly blue. So okay, I just want to make sure it's all in there. All right, it doesn't really match the color of the uh, of the exact frappuccino. Uh, the blue coloring, the blue syrup or whatever. But this is the stuff that tastes like a sweet tart. Let me give it a smell. Alright. Okay, I don't feel like it's all in there. I'll put, in, put, I'll put that much in. Now, I know you're saying that's really going to be too much. But... It, I might make it too sour, definitely. But, like... I just want to make sure that, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but like, I'm just trying to make sure that it's all in there and very sour as possible, so. Okay, I'm going to stop this for a while, make sure I, I'm done. It, I'm doing it right. Okay, the problem here was the light. Hold on, um, I'm just going to, oh, I'm dropping some stuff. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. All right, so now uh, we have the syrup right here, so now if you look in the light, you can now see it's a perfect match. Oh. But it is a little bit thick. I'm just going to mix that in and then have the chance to pour it in. Let me zoom out. There we are. It's a little hot. Okay, so I had to use a funnel for this because it was a little bit of a mess coming out to the sides here. Uh, so now we're going to taste test a little bit of the syrup. Pretty good. Okay, it's not really too sour, but the good thing is, is just, it's just not enough to give you like that warhead kind of like mixed taste. So we have about, so this was enough to fill about half of a bottle of it. So it's going to remain hot. It's not too hot, but it's going to, it's, it's a little hot. It's just going to stay like that until like we're ready for the frappuccino to be finished off as we're, well, as we're finishing off. So this completes our syrup, but again, I might have added a little bit too much of this stuff, but I think it do, I think it did come out pretty good either. Well, I, it did come out pretty good. So it has like a sour mix in it and we have the perfect light blue. So now. It's time to get to mixing into the frappuccino itself. Okay, so now that we have our syrup done, we're now going to make the frappuccino. So what we're going to add is about three scoops of vanilla ice cream. Okay, so now that we have the ice cream in the blender, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna add like about a handful of ice. Uh, maybe just about a couple more pieces. Or, or maybe it's too much. Well, all right. Now we're gonna add just a splash of milk. We're just gonna blend that up. Oh, forgot something. Uh, we're going to add like about a spoonful, a spoonful of this uh, mango contestants. I still don't know if it's completely a syrup. It's a little bit of a liquid. All right. Spoonful, uh, about, just about a tiny bit more, and that should do it. Okay, now we're gonna blend this all together before we start adding our stuff. So, uh, we're going to do frozen treat. Okay, I didn't turn it on. Okay, frozen. All right. 
right, it took me quite a while. So I added a little bit more of milk and a little bit more of ice cream and it's all mixed up now. So now what we're gonna do is now we're gonna add the pink mixture. All right, so what we're gonna add first is about two drops of pink. It may be a little bit hard to see here, let me zoom out. So here's the pink food coloring. And we're gonna add just a, a teaspoon full of this, uh, this strawberry flavored Kool-Aid. It might make it a little sour, but don't worry, I'm not adding too much. Alright, pour that in, I might need a little too much, but I don't know what to do. I'll put this on, come on, oh, there we go. Okay, so like when it started to blend, I thought it was turning into some sort of red color. Okay. Okay, it smells a little bit like Kool-Aid, so we'll add, we'll add just about a little bit more of the ice cream and then just make sure it doesn't smell like too sour. All right, so added in a little bit more ice cream to, to fade away that sour looking smell. And I also added in uh, a couple more ice to try to make it look more as chunky as possible. Um, or actually, I might have to add a little, I might add just one more patch of ice and then just see if it'll get chunky. If it doesn't, we'll just go with it. Okay, okay, so it's not really too chunky, but this is something we're gonna have to go with. So um, here we go, we're gonna brace ourselves. All right, so we're gonna add our blue syrup into the cup. I might not do it too perfect, but I'm gonna do what I can. All right, just wanna make sure it's getting all the way in there. Uh, my arm, I hope my arm's not in the way. Oh, it's spilling out. All right, it's not perfect, but it's the best I could do. Now we're gonna add our pink frappuccino stuff. Ooh, look at that. All right, it is chunky. Now we're gonna add our finales. We're gonna add our whipped cream. Hope I can do a perfect round. I went a little bit too big there too. All right, so now we're gonna add our powders. First, we're gonna add the rest of the Kool-Aid. And we're gonna add the berry flavored powder. Oh. Yeah, be, be gentle next time when you use it. All right, we're gonna have to use it there, but there we are. We have our homemade unicorn frappuccino. Best I could do it. Okay, I'm good. All right, Let's see if we can put the lid on. And our straw. Okay, so um, now we have our frappuccino done. 
so we're gonna do a taste test, but what I'm gonna do first is that I'm gonna cut one part out because I'm gonna make a separate video for my main channel. So you can go over there and the link to my other channel is in the description below. And my sister is here to see if she can have it. She's had the original Frappuccino. I never done it. So I don't know exactly what it actually tastes like, but it, let's give it a sip. Let's see what this uh, stuff tastes like. Hmm. That's pretty interesting. It has like a, a taste mixture of like a little bit of mangoes, a little or or maybe a fruit mixture and a little bit of ice cream. And I, it's hard to get a little bit. I think I might have gotten a little bit of the blue stuff, but I didn't really add enough. So, uh, Sarah. You want to come try it? That actually tastes exactly like it. Oh, it, it does. Like Anything different? The blue stuff is a little less, it's not as sour. As the other one, but the shake itself yeah, yeah. tastes exactly. Yeah, like yeah, it. yeah. Like, good I, job. Yeah, I wasn't. Sh yeah, I wasn't sure if I was doing it right, but I all I did do perfect was manage to make the the blue the same exact. So I might have added either a little bit too much of the maybe maybe it wasn't the ingredients. Maybe it was the Kool Aid that I didn't add. Maybe I didn't add enough of it. But okay, so if it tastes exactly the same as what Sarah says, then that is pretty interesting. If if there's some people that say, oh, that's really too gross, but it doesn't really taste that bad. Anyways, guys, I hope you liked this video, and if you did, leave a like down below, and leave a comment down below, and also subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you on the 4th of July, so thank you guys for watching, and um, if you're, whatever you want to make a frappuccino like this, make sure you try to get like a cup like this, and try to get the exact same ingredients. Thank you guys for watching.